So hello everybody. The, this presentation is called um, Modifying Data on a Read-Only Mounted Device. So this is an exercise out of our forensic training, out of the circle forensic training. And uh, once in the morning I read in the book that nothing prevents the PC to modify the data on a read-only device. That makes me letting uh, thought about it. And back in the office already I had a proof of concept. So, and that's what I like to share with you today. So, we have this USB stick. I will now connect it to my PC. Okay, it is now connected. Now I check with the small program D message how it is connected to my PC. And we see easily it is connected as SDB with one partition, SDB1. I check how it is mounted. And we see that SDB1 is mounted on my uh, media folders. So all is good. But it is still mounted in read-write mode. So I have to remount it. Now I will remount it in read-only mode and just verify if everything works well, uh, good. And now we see that the device is mounted read-only. It's a VFAT file system and it's mounted read-only. Okay, now some small uh, tests. If I can modify the data, So I change the data, but I cannot save it. You see the save is not enabled because the device is read-only. I have no option to save it, and I can only save it on a different location or close without saving. So, okay, what I do next now is a kind of forensic search, string search, for the strings I like to modify. So I like to modify the Hello World stuff. So I search for the stuff on my partition, and I give the options TD, which bring me the results in uh, bytes, the offset where the string will be found in offsets, in bytes, in decimal notation. So now I have the offsets where the file, where the data are stored. Now I can calculate the sector, so it's stored at byte 299,000 at sector, at sector 584. So I copy the sector onto my local drive. I copy the sector 584 on my local drive, just the one sector. And now I can open this data with a hex editor. So here we are. Now I modify the data on my hard drive. Stored on my hard drive. One minute, Michael. So the data are now locally modified, and I just use DD to write them back on my USB stick. So that's all. Now the data should be modified on the USB stick. I will verify. And oh, <laughs> they are not modified. What a pesh, what a, what a mess. But wait. <laughs> 30 seconds. But wait. We will eject the USB stick. And reconnect it. And let's give it a try. Where's my mouse pointer? Oh, here. Well, uh, the data are really modified.
It's just, it was not seen in the first uh, test because it was somewhere in the cache. So, so it's cached and it was not shown up. Thank you. Thanks.